Hey everyone, welcome back to VC's Craft World, another video. Um, so today I have some super affordable, easy, quick Mother's Day gift ideas um, using none other than a cup holder. So I got this idea originally, I think it was a lady I saw, I know I saw her YouTube channel, but I think she exploded on TikTok as well. So she just took a regular schmegular little um, cup holder and then just kind of fancied it up. So that's what I did today. I wanted to put my own little spin on it. So I already have two um, already made up. So this is the pink cup holder. Um, I will show you. So it has the Starbucks dupe um, cup right there. And then it also has the um, I use the little bougie treats um, from Dollar Tree, the Milano uh, Pepperidge Farm um, dark chocolate cookies, and then the Chessman, the mini Chessman cookies are in the back, if you could see those. And then I took some flowers, um, just a little floral arrangement, cut it up, and then put it around along with the balloon. That's tilting a little bit. Um, and then I just put a bow on it. And I thought, it, you know, it's something really cute. It's not a lot, but it's just something to say thank you. So I figured when I put this together, I had in mind, it's definitely really pretty on the eyes. Like I said, it's not much inside, but it's definitely pretty on the eyes. So I had maybe a coworker in mind if you wanted to get a coworker a Mother's Day gift. Um, even if for a kid who, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of money. This will be a nice, affordable gift um, that they can purchase for their mom. And I thought that, like I said, I thought it was super cute. And then I have another one back here. Let me put my glue gun to the back. And this one, I should probably cut the little um, ribbon st strings a little bit or uh, tails a little bit, but this one I ended up putting macaroons um, in, if you can see this. And then, so I put the pink macaroons on the side right there. And I picked up the macaroons from T TJ Maxx. You know how they have like the nice little bougie um, snack session, uh, section in the store. So I put the macaroons there. Of course, I had the flowers all the way around. I did the balloon. Um, I, I bought this queen crown last year um, at, I believe it was Timu, and then of course the pink um, Starbucks dupe. So let me get into it really quick and tell you where I got the items. So these cups I actually purchased off of Timu. This is part of the package that I was waiting to come in that took forever, but it was definitely worth the wait because these cups are kind of heavy. They're nice and sturdy. They're very, very good quality. I will definitely go back and order more for birthday gifts or whatever. But and, and then I, when I got them, I purchased them. They were on sale for, I want to say six something, six dollars and some change. Um, but definitely, definitely a steal for those. Um, and then, like I said, the Queen's Crown I purchased last year and just never used it. And then I thought, oh, that would be cute to have it on, you know, the top of the cup and so I just taped it up there um, on the straw because I wanted them to be able to use the straw you know and wash it off so I just taped that up there I did not put any glue on it sorry you can hear my washer stopping um, but again yes I put the macaroons in the flowers um, it was a flower set like a, a bundle that I purchased from Timu as well and that was two dollars a um, little bit over $2 for um, a bundle of the flowers. So I just cut the whole thing up and put it into this arrangement. At the bottom, the flowers are actually stuck inside. You'll see on this one when I get ready to do this one on camera. Um, I hot glued some floral foam at the bottom and that's what the flowers are sticking out of. And then I put the um, little bit of the paper shred um, just to kind of cover it up and then cover up any gaps that you might would see within. So then um, the balloons, of course, I got from um, bargainballoons.com. That's where I get 
all of my foil balloons from because I mean, they're, they're dirt cheap. You can't beat it. You won't be able to find those prices anywhere else. Um, so typically the balloons, I, I didn't order any this year for Mother's Day because I figured I'll use what I have, but I do have some in a cart <laughs> right now. And I think they're like, you know, it's, it just depends on what you want, but some are 19, they're as low as 19 cents. Some could be nine cents, um, depending on the balloon, but I even have, um, 35 cents, 60 cents, you know, and on up dollar to, it just depends on the size and, and whatever you're looking for, for the balloon. But I'm going to go ahead. So I put the two bows, put one in the front and the back, and I just added a little tissue paper here just to kind of cover up the top of the balloon. You really can't tell too much, but yeah, I thought that this was cute. I love, 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 love the cups. I love, I feel like at first I was just going to go with, let me just show you a couple of snacks from Dollar Tree. Um, like, you know, just little strawberry snacks just to kind of match. And they would go, but I just, when I went out shopping yesterday, because it's been such a rainy day here in North Carolina, I went out shopping. And so I just figured that these would look much better and more high end, the macaroons. And I think that they did, did the job. So I love it so much. So that's those two. And then now on camera, we're going to decorate the green cup. I love this green. I think it's so, 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 so pretty. Look at this. Oh, and the macaroons were, I think they were $4.99, which wasn't too bad um, for a little bougie snack, but I thought that that was cute. But anyway, these cups are really good. You can kind of hear it. Um, it's not flimsy at all. It's double wall, double layered. And I just think it's a really good quality coming from Timu. I wish I would have had time to put something on the front and maybe I'll do that later. Not for Mother's Day, of course, but for, um, of course, a later holiday or, or gift. But Timu. And then I have one last queen crown. I only ordered two. that I'm going to use. I, I just thought that the green and the gold would be so pretty together. Like that. Well, I'll find a way to make it. But I thought that would be so cute. All right, and then, of course, we have the, so the package of uh, cup holders that I purchased had this brown color, the natural color, it had the white and then the pink. So I figured I'd use all. These macaroons were on sale for $3.50. So if you shop the clearance um, section for the food, then just make sure you check in your dates um, for your food. And this one says 10:30:24. So just make sure you're shopping. Um, sh I would shop the clearance section first. And then if you don't see what you want, then, you know, go over to the other side. But that's that one. And these are champagne Italian macaroons. I'm not personally a fan of macaroons. I just, I'm, that's not my thing. I don't really like them. But I think that they're really pretty for decoration for a snack. I even had... Um, these colored cups as well. Now this is a little bit flimsier than the other ones. And these were of course cheaper. So this smaller, and they're also way smaller in size. However, I did get the bigger cups like these. It was two for, I wanna say six, 650, 656, something like that on Timu. And so I can also make some mini ones as well. I can put the same, the purple, the big purple, the little purple, or I can do, you know, kind of mix them up. But I, th I have three different colors in this. I got the pink, the purple, and then I got a pretty light blue color like pastel. So I can also do these as small gifts as well. But what I would have really loved, um, my original idea 
and the one from the original um, lady, I don't remember her name, to give her credit for the video that she did, which where I got the idea from to put like a nice pastry in that. But of course, you know, I'm not going out selling until this weekend and I don't want to have a fresh pastry. It wouldn't be fresh sitting around for the next few days. So that's why I just opted for the little macaroons. I think they still do the job. I think it still looks cute. Anyway, let's get into this video, what I'm designing. Oh, really quick, really quick, really quick. So I also picked up these butterflies. I thought they would be really cute around the flowers. Um, and maybe like this part of the cup holder. So I have these already too. All right, so we're gonna start with our cut. Um, I'm gonna use the same color shred. I get this big bag of shred from Amazon. And I've actually had this for more than a year, more than a year. And I use it a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my cup in first, make sure I face it frontwards. So what I do, I take my shred and I fill it because I want, you know, as you can see, it's a little big, the cup for the cup holder. So I want to make it tight, a nice, snug, tight fit. So that's why I'm using my paper shred as a filler. To make it nice and tight. And also it fills in when I'm ready to put my flowers in, it covers the bottom. But I'm not too much worried about that part of it um, because like I said, the between the snacks and the floral, um, the flowers, they'll come, you know, drop down enough where you won't see the bottom, as you can see in this one of the floral. So I'm just gonna tuck in the shred to any gap I think this green color was so pretty. I'm I'm into green now. I, there was a time when I wasn't, but some of these new green, like the emerald. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So you see how now the shred is making it nice and snug where the cup is not wobbling around. So. And there, there's that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my flowers. Give me one moment, let me grab them. All right, so this is what I was talking about. So the bundle came out of this bag and it's just a little, you know, bunch bundle of faux flowers. You can spread them out, but this is what I use. This one is a little bit different from the others that I use, but basically they're all the same and I paid the same amount for them. So, and for me, um, I only wanted to use, I knew I wanted to use a small bundle. I guess it doesn't matter if you get a big one or a small one because you can still take them off. But I just felt like Timu had the better deal as opposed to Amazon. Um, for some reason, their flowers for me, I thought, were a little expensive. They are good quality, but it's the same. It's the same flowers pretty much. Um, that Amazon sell, but they just sell them in bigger bunches. So it's just the thought if you have the, you know, just to save you a couple of dollars if you order way ahead of time. For a couple of dollars, I'm willing to take the chance to, you know, to see. So last night, I don't have my glue gun plugged in, but last night I just kind of um, hot glued the flowers down. So what I'll do is because I want to make sure that you can see my snack and that it's not covered. I'll put that in first. Let me put it in because I want you to see what it is. And then I'll put the floral arrangement around it. So I'm just gonna Cut them all off. So 
So I hope everyone is having a great, great Sunday. Um, Cinco de Mayo. And enjoying themselves. All right. And in the back, I'm just kind of angling, putting an angle on the flowers so that they can um, kind of hang outwards a little bit and then I can manipulate the flowers because it's wire and put them any which way I want to kind of fill in but I definitely want them to cover the back and see how that just kind of fills in the back where you can't see I just think it puts a more of a polished touch on the gift. And then I'm just angling, putting them in at an angle. And that, for me, I think that this bunch is perfect. I mean, I probably could have added more, but I didn't want to add too many more flowers. But I just thought it was perfect. I can add this here. And that's perfect. I like that. And that's pretty much it. The only thing I'm going to do next is just add my balloon on top and then a bow. And that's that's it. I mean, super simple gifts for a fraction of the cost. Like I said, this gift is not, it's one of my, you know, least expensive gifts. So you don't even have to worry about, you know, I, I wanted to make some affordable gifts for people who are budgeting. I get it. So this would definitely be one of them. Last night I ended up gluing these down, but I'm headed back out to the store. Whew, I'm sweating as you can see. But I'm headed back out to the store um, this morning because I have a I have a couple of orders that I need to fulfill. Um, so I need to get last minute items for those gifts. And so I'm just gonna tie the balloon around here. And I kind of hot glued this last night too, so that the balloon definitely stays in place. I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then I just cut probably about this much off and I cut it at an angle so that it has a point so it can stick down into the, um, floral foam. And you can order these. Um, balloon sticks off of anywhere pretty much. I mean, I think I got this pack actually from Dollar Tree. They're just long for, you know, bigger balloons. I couldn't find my other one that I had. But you can order them. I've ordered some from Amazon. Um, I've ordered them from, you can actually order them from bargainballoons.com as well. They have them on there. So... Just turning this around and bringing it back under. I will definitely go back in to secure it with my hot glue gun because this is not secured. But I just wanted to show you for this video how to make something as simple as a cup holder looks so pretty and unique. And there you have it. Of course, I'll go in with a bow just like I did the others and cover this part up. Um, but this is it. This is something quick, simple, and this is a cute little cup. Um, like I said, an everyday on-the-go cup. I would love to have a cup like that. I actually have a couple 
um, my cupboard is runneth over with everyday cups. Um, but you know, you have your favorite go-tos, but I thought that this was cute. You can also add like the little energy drink pouches. My daughter gave me that idea. You can add that to it. Um, maybe I will, but I just wanted to get this video out before I left, but you know, something kind of healthy or sweet and savory, you know, that goes with the theme. Um, I even thought about putting the little um, faux champagne, the Martinelli's, but that won't go with this type of cup. I think you need a fancier cup for the Martinelli's, but I think that um, this actually goes together, but just, just, you know, use your imagination and go with it. There's so many ways that you can make this gift and make it beautiful and affordable, really cute, but just have fun. I hope that this reached you. I hope this helped you. If you're having that last minute slump of some inexpensive gift ideas, I hope this helps you. Please comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you like it. You've all been doing really, really great at letting me know what you like, what you don't like, or what I should do. Um, and I definitely, definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching my videos. I really, truly appreciate that as well. Have a great and amazing Cinco de Mayo Sunday and be blessed. Bye. Sorry. I know I said I was going to go, but I came back really quick. I forgot to add my crown and my butterflies. How did I forget that? Talking, just talking. All right. I'm going to go on this side. I think this little queen's crown is so cute. I think any queen would love to have it. Let me just cut off the extra tape down here. I love the little crown. And then, one second. Now this tape is not wanting to let go. All right. I'm gonna bring it closer in just a second. I wanna put my, add my butterflies to this. Now bear with me because I've never used these, but I'm thinking they're just stickers. The butterflies I purchased from Timo as well. Are they not stickers? No. Oh, maybe I need my glue gun for this. Give me one minute. Okay, I'm back. I have my little butterflies, so I'm just hot gluing them onto the cardboard. Um, I'll show you. You probably can't really see it in the camera now, but. And I'm just putting a thin little layer of hot glue on there, like a little strip. Not a lot. And I'm just kind of doing them at an angle, not too much. There you go. See this one is like a, I'm gonna show you. Can you see them? Thinking maybe I should put one here in the middle of the top and the second one, just so that it's not a gap. But I think that that's cute. And then also if you had a Cricut, you could definitely um, 
put something here, like Happy Mother's Day or Love You Mom, something like that. But there's so, like I said before, there's so many things that you can do with this um, concept. I don't, I don't want them to be bunched. So maybe, maybe I'll just put one. Oh, I'll put it down here. webs from the glue just feel like so i wish i had a smaller one to go right there but i think that that's cute i like it i think i'll stop there because i don't want it to be too much but i like the way that that turned out um again i'm for real signing off this time please comment share subscribe have a great day thank you bye <laughs>